Hi everyone. Today we're going to do something cool. So we have received this request to know how to use a panel to zoom camera to surveillance up to 600 meters far away. So 600 meters is not that short of a distance. So we're going to use some special techniques to fulfill this request. Well first we have to know that to set up a panel tilt zoom camera what this whole thing is. So right here next to me is a panel tilt zoom camera. Just like its name, it can panel through its axis and it can tilt up and down, zoom in and out to get more clear images. And even though it can zoom, most of them can zoom up to 30 times, it still can't get a clear look at you know 600 meters away because it, it is really far. So what should we do? Well, our solution today is by using a 300 meter ethernet cable. And after we connect the camera with the ethernet cable, it can all be set up all the way 300 meters out. And then we can zoom in and get a close look at what is happening at 600 meters. You guys may have a lot of questions. Didn't you guys say that because of the IEA 02.3 standards, most of the transmissions are limited to 100 meters. Well, yeah, we did say that before, but in this case, we're using something special. It's ultra-long distance PoE switch. And what's so special about that? Well, because of the standard, the transmissions will, will re receive power loss and also the di digital, digital signals will decay as well. This PoE switch has a special chipset which can help us expand our digital signals further on and also has uh, four ports which can generate high power for long distance transmissions. So on this end we have enough power to support our device on the, on the terminal and the data can be successfully transmitted there. And this is a 300 meter ethernet cable. It's, we can purchase it online in the market it's really easy to get and on the other side like next to our IP device we'll need something special as well this is our fast cable PoE extender you can see it has an input and output port this is like because of the special chipset we have in the PoE switch when the transmission happens we have to have something that can help us receive this high speed transmission to let the IP device digest so we have this connected to our Ethernet cable before it connects to our IP camera. In this case, when the IP camera needs to send the signal back, you know, the image, it has to have the same speed, high speed transmission back to our POE switch. So the chipset in here also can do that. And what's good about this thing, it's very independent. It doesn't need any outside power source. All we have to do is just connect this between the camera and the long, very long Ethernet cable we're going to use. So that's pretty much it. And today I'll get, let you guys see how it's done. It's really easy. And you guys will have a clear image of the IP panel to zoom camera on my screen here. All right. So we have our main network are connected to our PoE switch. And our PoE switch is connected to connected to our NVR here which is linked to a monitor and now this is 300 meters ethernet cable, very long I've connected to these four ports, the green dots indicate they're out generating high power so good enough for the transmission and now the other end of 300 meter ethernet cable I'm going to insert the ethernet cable to the input port and then use a short patch cord to connect to the camera. And our camera should be functioning shortly. This is its self diagnosing, see if it works. And yeah, I think we have successfully connected, and we should get an image shortly. And now you have seen the image on the camera. It means the whole setup is thorough. Every connection is complete. And yeah, this is that easy. So if you guys have any more questions about this setup, 
You can post it on the section below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.